According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, the eastern bluebird is a small thrush with a big rounded head, large eyes, plump body, and alert posture. The eastern bluebird's wings are long, but the tail and the legs are fairly short, and the bill is also short and straight. They are about two-thirds the size of a robin. The male of the species is a vivid blue above a kind of rusty red around the breast and throat. The females are a bluish gray and have a faded orangish brown breast. Bluebirds tend to prefer nesting in open areas that are surrounded by trees and other vegetation. Nowadays, it's common to see populations of bluebirds in pastures, agricultural fields, suburban parks, backyards, and even golf courses. The eastern bluebird occupies a large swath of North America and extends even to portions of Central America. This species can be found anywhere east of the Rocky Mountains, to southern Canada, to the Gulf States, as well as southeastern Arizona and Nicaragua. If you're going to go to the trouble of building a bluebird house, you certainly want your efforts to result in bluebird families taking up residence in the home you have provided. Attracting bluebirds requires a bit of time and some patience. But once you have their attention, they do tend to stick around. So what are the steps necessary to successfully attract bluebirds to the house you build for them? The first step is something we've already mentioned. Locate the bluebird house in a relatively open area with low or sparse ground cover. The house should be mounted approximately five feet above the ground to both protect the bluebird tenants from the predators and close enough to the ground to allow them to see insects, which is the primary staple of their diet. There exists a slight difference of opinion regarding the migratory habits of the eastern bluebird. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology states populations in a northern part of their range are entirely migratory, spending winters in southeastern United States or Mexico. However, other sources maintain that the eastern bluebird is largely migratory, but they can also remain in their cold weather domains if there is an ample supply of nuts and berries available. As a result, this alternate source suggests that if you want to attract bluebirds to your property and keep them there, you should quote-unquote plant native with shrubs and trees that would provide this sort of thing naturally. Another element you could provide to attract bluebirds is water, and that can be accomplished with a simple bird bath. Our information has it that bluebirds prefer moving water, so you might want to consider using a small fountain mechanism to make that happen. Of course, the real draw will be the type of house you build, as well as the features of the house that are important to bluebirds, and that's the next phase of this video.